Let me have you. A little red. Oh, you're filming right now? <laughs> and that's it. That marks the end of the Applecroft house. We are leaving right now and we are on our way to the Cliffs of Moor. What was your experience? The weather is beautiful. The weather's really nice. That's why Deer just wearing a full winter jacket and a scarf. <laughs> it's gonna be in the 60s, but it's not right now. It totally is. <laughs> um, no, but the sun's been out since this morning. Yeah, and that was my first shit. That was my first bed and breakfast experience, and I'll be honest, it was really, really good. Like I was kind of hesitant. I've never done that You're before. Like, we're staying in someone's house. You mean that's what we're gonna do? Why would we do that? <laughs> I don't know. I've never. I just. I couldn't like wrap my head around the concept of like just being in someone's like personal home. I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me, I guess. But uh, it was really good. It was really enjoyable. And now we're gonna hop back in the car. It's only about like an hour and a half drive to I the next. You lift it up? Yeah. Oh, good. It's about an hour and a half drive to the Cliffs of Moor. Um, and then this place is supposed to be really nice. So we have the perfect weather. Yeah, the we weather's been there. amazing. All right, we're leaving. All right, so we just grabbed some lunch. I think Ireland definitely has a lot to offer, but uh, pizza might not, not pizza. be. It might not be one of them. We're about 15 minutes away from the Cliffs of Moor, so let's go. So, Cliffs of Moor, cross it off the bucket list. It was a very, very intense experience. Um, super beautiful, but I think it's really dangerous actually, to be honest with you. There's like two ways you can go, you can go right or left. If you go right, you're in more of like a parkish type of an area where there's people that work there. If you go left, which everybody does, it's very- It's private pro it's, property. It's private property and you're totally at your own risk and they show signs of like people that died and everything like that. And last year, would you tell me eight people died? I think it was, I don't know if somebody told us that. Yeah, so I mean, if you're gonna come here, you should definitely experience it, but you have to be you have to be super careful because you can definitely go over the edge if you're not being smart about it. But we got some unbelievable shots. It was really cool to experience. Uh, we're gonna head into town. We're gonna grab some food just to bring back to the B and B, and then I think we're just gonna relax for the rest of the night. We have just arrived at our home for the evening. It's the Churchfield B and B. That's what it's called. It's orange. And it's right behind me. We're gonna grab our stuff, check in, settle in. I'd like to order food, but I don't know if that's like a thing here. It doesn't really seem like it. We're only here one night, so you know, don't like get the room all prepped because we're picking everything up tomorrow and leaving in the morning. You got it, fiance. Hello. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Are we in the right place? 
don't know what the place they're looking for. To, to yeah, check in? Yeah, I think it is. Um, uh, Churchfield? Okay, so. And you're like, oh, wait. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I, I don't know if we were like. Sometimes we say things. No, but I, I didn't know if we were like in their section of the B&B, if it was just like a guest. No, usually it's there. Yeah. I don't know. Let me have you. A little red. Oh, you're filming right now? <laughs> if I had to describe the internet at this B&B in one word, I would probably choose the word non -ex non-existent. We're on our way right now to go get some food, find some internet so I could post some work that I've done and that's all I got. All right, we just arrived at the restaurant. I think it only serves four people at a time. I have a feeling that the internet is still dial up, but we're going in. So cold. There's like a chill all the time. <laughs> if it was just like, why? <laughs> Nothing, there's a very nice setting behind you. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. look at that. <laughs> Go ahead, anything else? No, I can't, I can't keep going now, I mean. Okay. The background is just, you know, it interrupted me. Yeah, I'm really just hoping that there's like a place where I could just get like some good food. Oh, thank God. The nachos are interesting. I also have a laptop at a bar right now. <laughs> Thank you. This is what it looks like when technology fails. Nothing is working. I'm a millennial. I don't know what to do. Join me in sponsoring a millennial today and help us. Help us. Help us. Help us live the lives we portray on Instagram. And that is the end of the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, we are posting every single video from our trip, so definitely check out the previous day. Link down below. We are gonna go back to our B&B and rub two sticks together to make internet. Deirdre? Good night. Good night.